Hi, I'm Mrs. Griffin, and in this lesson we're going to talk about operations with decimals. Let's start with adding or subtracting. We do these the same way. First thing you want to do is line up the decimals. And then your decimal will drop like a rock after you've added or subtracted. With multiplying, you want to put the longer number on top, not necessarily the larger one, just the one with more digits. Then ignore the decimals and multiply as usual. And in the end, we will swing it. And I'll show you how to do that. With dividing, you want to get a whole number in the divisor by moving the decimal. And then your decimal will float like a balloon. Let's take a look at some examples, and you'll understand this a little better. 3.2 plus 71.35. So we're adding, so we're going to line up our decimals, and it's going to drop like a rock. You can add zeros if you want to. And now we add 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, and nothing plus 7 is 7. And our decimal drops straight down like a rock. So our answer is 74.55. Number 2, we have 0 0.02 times 1.331. We take our longer number and we put that on top. 1.331 times 0 0.02. And now we multiply, ignoring our decimals. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now we need to swing it. We count the number of places our decimal is here. It's 1, 2, 3 places. In this number, it's 1, 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, so in our answer, our decimal will be over 5 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to move it one more, 5. Add a 0. So our answer is 0 0.02262, and that's how we swing it. Count the number of decimal places in each number, add them together, and swing it over in your answer. And now let's divide. 4.05 divided by 0.9. 4.05 divided by 0.9. We need to have a whole number as our divisor, so we move our decimal one place to the right. We move it the same number of places in our dividend. And let's rewrite our problem. Now we've got 40.5 divided by 9 and our decimal floats up like a balloon. So 9 goes into 40 four times. 4 times 9 is 36. Try to finish this one up on your own. Click Continue when you're done, and we'll go over it. Welcome back. When you subtracted, you should have gotten 4. Bring down the 5. 9 goes into 45 five times. 9 times 5 is 45. So our answer is 4.5. So we made a whole number in our divisor by moving the decimal the same number of places in our dividend, and our decimal floated up like a balloon. So adding and subtracting, your decimal drops down like a rock. You line it up, it drops down like a rock. Multiplying, put that longer number on the top. Then swing your decimal in your answer. And with dividing, your decimal will float up like a balloon. But don't forget a whole number in your divisor. So that should do it with our lesson on operations with decimals, along with a couple tips. Remember that a whole number has an invisible decimal. So if we have the number 7, it's got an invisible decimal here. Or 24 has an invisible decimal here. You can add as many zeros to the right after or to the right of the decimal without changing the value. For example, 7 can also be 7.0000. Still going to be 7. 24 can be 24.0. Or if we have something like 0.5, we can still add as many zeros as we need to. So that's it for our lesson on operations with decimals. Great job, and good luck with the rest of your homework. If you need more help with pre-algebra, you can sign up for Nutshell Math, and I hope to see you there.